All right, guys, Josh from CrossFit Bro Bridge. We just did the blog on buntlessness that I'll link to on here, but we want to start doing some quick videos on corrections for this issue, okay? And it's a huge issue everywhere, but especially in CrossFit, okay? So one of the places where we see a lack of glute activation, buntlessness is in the squat, even the basic air squat, okay? So we'll see people down and then finish in the squat here. We know we need to finish by bringing the hips into full extension, and the way we do that is by squeezing the butt, okay? Now the goal with that is that we want to squat utilizing the glutes. The problem is we can get away with squatting without the glutes and then just squeeze the butt at the top. That's not ideal. So we don't wanna see you squatting on your quad, squeezing your butt, squatting on your quad, squeezing your butt. What we wanna to learn to do is to use the butt throughout the entire movement. So what that's gonna look like is you staying connected. Now one key here is that the glutes and the abs work together to finish the hip extension, not squeezing the knees, which is what we see all the time. So what I want you to think about is twisting out, driving the butt back, keeping the abs connected, and when we get to the top, we want everything to come together at the same time. So it shouldn't be coming up and then squeezing the butt and back down and squeezing the, the butt. We want to stay engaged throughout the entire movement. And when we squeeze at the top, everything comes in line together. So check yours, see if that's what it looks like. If not, that's probably part of the problem, part one.